In today's video, we'll be going over how to set up auxiliary indicators on Bybit charts and discussing Bybit's trading fees. Before we begin, if you haven't signed up for Bybit yet, pay attention. There's a referral code you can use at registration to receive a discount on trading fees. If you check the More section under this video on YouTube, you'll find a link that gives you a 20% discount on fees when you sign up through that link. To ensure that the discount is applied when you sign up, check that referral code 18,499 is applied at the top left corner. If not, you can manually enter the referral code 18,499 or B5QJY to get the 20% discount. The chart setup methods we'll cover today provide various settings and features. However, please remember that, like any indicator, these are not absolute, so use them as auxiliary references. To set up the chart, go to the Bybit homepage, click on Derivatives, and select USDT Perpetual. This will bring up the screen you see here. If you want to change the chart to dark mode, click the sun icon at the top right. To switch back to light mode, click the moon icon. Now, let's move into the main content and look at the RSI, Bollinger Bands, and MACD indicators. RSI, or Relative Strength Index, is an indicator used to assess whether a specific coin is overbought or oversold. After setting the time period, the general strategy is to sell when the RSI indicator shows overbought conditions, and to buy when it shows oversold conditions. If you're unsure where the overbought or oversold zones are, here's how it works. RSI has values ranging from 1 to 100 with 50 as the midpoint. A reading above 70 is considered overbought, and a reading below 30 is considered oversold. You can view the RSI over different timeframes, so be mindful that trends may vary depending on the timeframe. Additionally, there are two strategies, contrarian trading and a strategy called divergence. Divergence refers to when the price movement and the indicator trend in opposite directions, suggesting a potential trend reversal. Divergence is a useful strategy for identifying trend reversals and implies that the current trend may be weakening and ready to shift to the opposite direction. Types of divergence include downward divergence, hidden downward divergence, upward divergence, and hidden upward divergence. For instance, if the price is increasing but RSI is decreasing, that's downward divergence. If the price is decreasing but RSI is increasing, that's upward divergence. Now, Let's go over how to set up RSI on the chart. Click on indicators next to the chart's time frame, search for RSI, and select Relative Strength Index. You'll see the purple RSI indicator line added at the bottom of the chart. When you hover over the top left of the RSI indicator, the settings menu will appear. Click the gear icon to open settings. By default, the input's length is set to 14, which calculates the trend for the past 14 days. To change this to a 30-day trend, simply enter 30 and click OK. If you'd like to change the colors, go to the Style tab, where you can select various colors for the RSI line. You can also adjust the transparency by moving the opacity slider. Next, let's discuss Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands use the moving average as a trend centerline, calculating the range's upper and lower bands based on the standard deviation from this centerline. This indicator provides insight into price volatility and trend direction simultaneously. When you apply Bollinger Bands, the algorithm analyzes within the specified period and displays an upper line, a lower line, and a center line. The upper line represents resistance, the center line represents the average trend, and the lower line represents support. The center line acts as support during an upward trend and as resistance during a downward trend. If the bands are wide, it indicates high volatility while narrow bands indicate low volatility. For example, if you set the moving average to a 20-day period with a standard deviation of 2, the center line represents the 20-day moving average. The upper band represents the 20-day moving average plus two standard deviations, and the lower band represents the 20-day moving average minus two standard deviations. A common strategy with Bollinger Bands is the box range trading method. Here, they. Box range refers to a zone where the upper and lower bands run parallel over a period with a narrowing bandwidth. If the candlestick pattern breaks above the upper band in this range, it can indicate a buy long signal, while a break below the lower band can indicate a sell short signal. To add Bollinger Bands to your chart, 
Click Indicators next to the time frame, search for BB, and select Bollinger Bands. Once the Bollinger Bands are added, hover over the top left of the indicator and click the gear icon to adjust settings. In inputs, the length represents the period for the moving average, commonly set to 20. And MULT is the standard deviation multiplier, usually set to 2. You can also customize the colors in the Style tab. Lastly, let's look at MACD, which stands for Moving Average Convergence and Divergence. MACD measures the convergence and divergence of short and long-term moving averages. This indicator shows how close or far apart the short-term and long-term moving averages are. MACD consists of three main components, the MACD line, signal line, and histogram. The MACD line is the difference between the short and long-term averages and indicates whether these averages are moving closer together or farther apart. The signal line smooths the MACD line and helps predict trend changes. The histogram shows the difference between the MACD line and signal line, and whether the value is positive or negative can help anticipate trend shifts. Typically, MACD is set with a 12-day short-term moving average, a 26-day long-term moving average, and a 9-day signal line. MACD has two primary trading strategies. Zero line crossover. If the MACD line crosses above zero, it suggests a shift to an upward trend, indicating a potential buy signal. If it crosses below zero, it may indicate a sell signal. MACD signal line crossover. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it's often considered a buy signal golden cross. Conversely, when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it indicates a sell signal dead cross. If you're unsure about using the crossover signals, check the histogram. A positive value at the crossover point suggests a buy opportunity, while a negative value suggests a sell opportunity. To set up MACD, click Indicators, search for MACD, and add it to the chart. The MACD indicator will appear below the RSI indicator. Hover over the top left corner. Click the settings icon and adjust the fast length short term to 12 and slow length long term to 26. You can also customize the colors in the style tab. If today's video was helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. We'll be back next time with more investment insights. Thanks for watching.